So the other major important difference about a forefoot strike and a heel strike is not, is not just the collision, but also the compliance. So compliance is how stiff the body is. So if you get up and jump down, right, and you land uh, from a jump, you'll land on the ball of your foot, and you'll bend your knees, and you'll bend your hips, and you'll let your ankles down as you, as you hit the ground, because that's a very compliant or springy way of hitting the ground. Nobody, when they jumps up, lands on their heels, right, except people who are wearing running shoes. Right? So when you when you heel strike, you're landing basically on your heel, just as if you were to do it right now. Right? That's a very stiff landing. Right? So that causes this, it causes the, the body to come to a dead stop really fast. But when you forefoot strike, it's more like landing when you normally jump. You land on the ball of your foot. Right? And so you have a much more compliant, springy landing. So so together, forefoot strikes involve basically almost no collision because you have less effective mass, so less of the body comes to a stop at the moment you hit the ground. And secondly, you land in a much more compliant or springy way, so that so you spread that impulse over a longer period of time. So forefoot striking is gentle, right? So when you run in a forefoot way, you run in a very soft or gentle manner, which is why you can do it completely barefoot.